Hello, I'm James Harvey, the Professor of Music Theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. Start that timer and we're going to talk about the second of three forms of analysis which we will be using to analyze music. And this one is Roman numeral analysis. So I'm going to assume that everybody knows the basics behind Roman numerals, but if you don't, I'll just quickly go through it. Uh, in Roman numerals, the amount of vertical lines it has a lot to do with the the number which is being portrayed. So it looks like the uppercase uh, letter I in English is the number one in our Roman numeral analysis. And then two, we add a line. Three, we add another line. And then the Romans were very clever. They realized that if we added four lines, it would start to get a little bit confusing. So instead of putting four lines for four, we do this, which looks like the letter I, V. And what that means is the V is five, and then the one in front is telling us that it's five minus one, which is four. So that's the Roman numeral for the number four. If I get rid of that one line, this is now uh, Roman numeral five, and then six is adding a one after, so it's like five plus one, and then seven, I'm gonna extend my lines, like this. We only need those seven. We, <clears throat> excuse me, we never use more than seven Roman numerals. So if that was confusing, I'm sure there's tons of tons of videos. I'm not here really to teach you about how to use Roman numerals. I'm here to show you how Roman numerals are used to analyze music. So I'm going to take a chord here and I'm going to take a key as well. I'm going to put something in D major and I'm going to write a G major chord there because Roman numerals actually have a lot to do with the key. The Roman numeral for this chord is going to be an uppercase Roman numeral four and I'll talk about cases in a second too because you might think wait there is no uppercase lowercase Roman numerals. You're wrong there actually are upper and lowercase Roman numerals when we're analyzing music. Whoever did that the first time um, it they were very clever but it's not very respectful, I guess, to the original uh, system of Roman numerals. All right, so what we're doing here is this is a G major chord. So the chord symbol would be G above this. This is in the key of D major. And the way we indicate the key is right below the key signature. We put um, either an uppercase letter for the major or minor. Uh, we use the little M with the line over it with a colon. That means anything forward is going to be in D major. Now the number here of this Roman numeral indicates the scale degree of the root. Scale degree of the root. So because this is a Roman numeral four, that means the fourth scale degree is the root of this chord, which is G. We're in D major, D is one, E, F sharp, G. <clears throat> what it also tells us is the quality of the triad. So uppercase indicates major, and lowercase indicates minor. And I'm gonna show you how to do upper and lower case. Let's go ahead and clear some space for that. So first I'll write the uppercase Roman numerals and then I'll show their respective lowercase versions. So I have one, two, three, and then we start doing the V's in there, V, I, and I, I. And now the lowercase versions simply look like the English counterparts of those letters in lowercase. We have the dots over the I's, and then for the four, we use the dot over the I, and then five. It just doesn't have the bars on top or on bottom. Here's six, and then seven, like that. So if the Roman numeral is in lowercase, that means that it's a minor triad. So let me show you an example of when we would use a lowercase symbol or Roman numeral here. Uh, I'll take the same E, I'll just do a different chord. This is an E minor chord. E is the second scale degree, so it's going to be a Roman numeral two, and because it's a minor triad, we're going to put that in lower case. So that means this is a minor triad built from the second scale degree. Now the only extra things that we need to talk about are for when you have triads that are neither major nor minor. Like for example, if I write this triad, which is a C sharp diminished triad, this is a Roman numeral seven because it is the seventh scale degree. Now what we do for diminished is we use a lowercase 
Roman numeral, and then we add that degree symbol, which indicates diminished like that. If we ever run across an augmented triad, which we will, but not until uh, quite a ways down the road, we use an uppercase letter and the plus sign for augmented. Thank you.